Hello everyone and welcome back to our Dynasty Warriors Woo campaign. Let's keep this going. Alright. Oh, this guy's level 12? I don't remember ever leveling him up, so maybe he just starts like that. Alright, we have the Dawn Curved Sword. What else should we get? Something we haven't seen. Claws? I don't think we've seen the claws yet. Ooh, terrible claws. Hmm. Oh, no, also same affinity, okay. Well, let's go to that then, I guess. All right. I come to serve. He comes to serve. He comes to slay the deer. <sighs> Got away. No meat for us tonight, Joe Yu. Huh? Joe Yu? This is ZH is hey, Joe. Hey, Chuan! Joe That's Tai! Chuan? Joe Tai. Okay. Where have they gone to? Soon, sir. Huh? You have taken Wu Jun and call yourself the Little Conqueror? Shu Gong? And. Who are you? Look back on the path you have walked, one twisted by power. The cries of hatred and flames of anger shall now become a vortex. Suck down into it. You shall meet your end here. Hey, what are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> It's only you. five of them. Are you Shu Gong's men? Brother! Forgive us. We got held up by some sort of sorcery. Yeah, same thing happened to me. I'm not sure what's going on, but for now, we just need to get out of here. There is something eerie about this fog. This ability is good. Oh. These are Shu Gong's men. Is that the person who's after you, Sun Sir? Yes. It seems he holds quite the grudge against me. Shu Gong have this strange old man working for him as well. One who can perform all sorts of weird tricks. Ah, oh, the Phantom Soldiers. Unsettling about these enemies. Surely they can't be phantoms as well. Someone must be controlling these phantom soldiers. We must take him out if we are to have a chance. All right, let me get my horse. I shall return. This is the guy. Is that what it said? All right. It seems the phantom soldiers have disappeared. Let's hurry up and get out of this <laughs> That is really cool. What on earth has happened to this forest? It's as though it's been cursed or something. I will protect you, Lord Sun Quan. Thank you, Joe Tai. I knew I could rely on you. I'm trying to remember these pronunciations. These arrows keep raining down on us. We have to get out of here. There must be someone commanding the archers. We need to find him and put a stop to this hail of arrows. 
Oh, well, let us see if this person is up here. Great, Joe Ty. Keep it up. Okay. These arrows are doing nothing to me. <laughs> there you are. All right. I like that. That should make passing through this forest much easier. I remember seeing that garrison before. That's the way out of this forest, I'm sure of it. Hmm. Alright, just going up and around. but chaos to Jiong Dong. The entire land, even. That is why I am here to put an end to that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fight you, but you're giving me no other choice. Don't worry. He's dead. That was easy. You plan on killing me, do you? <laughs> Very well. But I'll take you with me. What? They all just stood still? You will walk the path of the Conqueror. And clash with Lord Cao Cao. Don't you see? The more men of your caliber step forward, the worse this chaos will become. Shut your mouth! Uh, all I have to do is defeat them all! You fool. Ganji. I leave the rest to you. Very well. Your revulsion for this time of war is perfectly clear to me. What the heck? Now die, dogs of chaos. All right, this is not over. Victory will soon be ours. Crush every last what? one of the enemy. Shahu Dune? Are these Sao Tsao's men? We have no hope of taking on any of them in this condition. Getting help for Sun Tzu is our first priority. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Zhou Tai and I will deal with Sao Tsao's troops. Zhou Yu, use the by road and get my brother out of here. Thank you. Okay. Joe Tai, please look after Master Sun Tran. I will. You have my word. Let's cross the drawbridge and confront the enemy head on. All right. Please, Joe Tai. I need your help for my brother's sake. Joe Tai is with I you. Understand. Oh. Bridge is not with us. Looks like you came all this way for nothing. Sorry. But you're not getting past. Does anyone like Xiaohu or Xiaohu Yuan? I never enjoyed his character. Maybe just uh, I never enjoyed his weapon. He's always been the bow guy. He never seemed really like a badass. Not unless we defeat the enemy and lower the drawbridge. Enemy defeated. The enemy officer has been defeated. And yes. All right, let's head south. We'll take out the enemy base and draw their attention. I think well that's the voice, voice actor who played 
Was the elf's name Fenris in Dragon Age 2? I think that's the guy who at least who played that elf character. The dude with the who's a two-hander and he had the weird runes on his body. Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's get this fight started. And yep. <laughs> Get out of here. Visibility from this by road is very poor. Cool. <laughs> My brother will be in trouble if there are enemies lurking about. So let's make as much noise as we can over here. Um, so there's a attract the attention of as many enemies as possible. There's a guy on fire behind me. I'll let you go for now. Don't think you've won. I will slay as many officers as necessary to fulfill my duty. I would be honored if I could test my skills against you. Oh, he's... Alright, he's still with us. Jeez. Lord I will do what it takes to protect you. Thank you, Jotai. It is a great relief knowing that you are by my side. I'm glad they say I'll each other's names a lot so I can get Don't used to it. I will slay as many officers as necessary to fulfill my duty. Once we have reached the Byro, we will be able to escape this area. Please just hold out until then, since I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Well done. Most impressive. Oh, there's a bad guy following us. Oh, bad guy. Goodbye, bad guy. It seems we thwarted that enemy ambush. I can only hope my brother is unharmed. I'm sure he's fine. There's no point fretting about it now. I'll have to go and rescue him myself. So Q U is Schwa and Z H is uh -oh. Joe. Chu? This is no good. I feel so weak. Oh, that's not good. My existence only serves to deepen the chaos. Perhaps Shugal had a point. Don't let him cloud your judgment. You are no warmonger. If you were, there is no way I would consider supporting you. Oh! Great, Jotai. Keep it up. So, what are we doing here, son? And but up. I knew they would come Blah. here. Prepare to die soon, oh, sir. Oh, hello. And blah, blah, blah. That is a really cool move, they just start suspended in the air like it's some kind of anime. That's what all katanas do, in case you didn't know. In the ancient days of the samurai, whoever got hit with the katana first just flew up in the air and just stood there until the other guy was like, okay, now you may die. That's historically accurate. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Blast! We were so close to escaping. Blast it all. I am Guo Jiao. I should like to face you in battle. Yep. I like to face you in battle as well. You guys are going ahead. I want to kill this guy. There we go. Well done. Most impressive. Are you all right? You came. 
Listen, I'm sorry you have to see me like this. <laughs> Everyone popping in. Okay, we made it out of there somehow. Still, I can't believe that Shu Gong was in league with Cao Cao. He claimed our lord was walking the path of a conqueror. Ridiculous. Trying to sell out my brother, and even hiring some pathetic conjurer of tricks. It was Ganji, wasn't it? Yep. Sun <laughs> Tzu! I wouldn't call them tricks, exactly. That sword felt real. Father entrusted our family's legacy to me. Now, it's my turn to entrust it to you. What are you talking about, brother? It's all yours now. Although the forces of Wu managed to drive off Zhu Gong, they lost Sun Tzu in the process. Yeah, the Sun family gets kind of rained on. Just before his death, Sun Tzu entrusted the future of Wu to his younger brother Sun Xuan. Is that how you pronounce it? Sun Xuan canceled the invasion of Xu Cheng and instead focused on bringing stability to the land surrounding Jiang Dong. Eight years later, Cao Cao rapidly expanded his strength after defeating Yuan Shu Xuao in the north. In an effort to oppose Wu, he began to march his troops south. Opinions were divided within Wu whether to submit to Cao Cao's invasion or fight against it. Just then, Liu Bei and his strategist Zhu Lian, Zhu Lian, appeared after having ah oh, crap. As a result, Zhou Yu, Lu Su, and others recommended that they all or that they ally with Liu Bei and oppose Cao Cao together. Faced with their enthusiasm, Sun Xuan decided to engage Xiao Cao's forces in battle. Sun Xuan allied with Liu Bei and looked to meet Cao Cao's giant navy at Qi Bi, the Battle of Qi Bi. Lu Su, Huang Gai, Han Dong, and Sun Sheng Xiang were about to set the waters of the Great River Flame. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Again, trying to pronounce them all correctly. As best I can. I do not know who this Lu Su guy is, so let's choose this person. <laughs> He's the rake guy. Okay. Well, besides that. Uh, we've seen... I haven't seen this one, I don't think. Ah, oh, but they. They match. Can I change the rake? No. Nah. Okay, well, let's get something else then. I think we may see the staff later. I think that's Joe Yu's weapon. Dragon Spear. Sure, let's try that. May my efforts help restore peace to the land. Now. Only hope things go as planned. But do you trust them, Lusu? Yes. Although, Juga Liang is an impossible man to read entirely. Then I shall believe also in you and in your faith in Liu Bei. Still, to wait for the wind to turn, then attack with fire from the water. A bold gamble indeed. Hey, you two! Huh? Has the War Council finished already? You were conferring with the forces of Liu Bei, right? Correct. Although, they only sent their strategist, Juga Liang. Oh, really? I was looking forward to finding out what kind of man Liu Bei is. Okay. Must use our last resort. I know this puts you in a difficult position, but I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I have no problem sacrificing myself for the future of Wu. Princess, I would like you to go to the prayer hall. Zhu Geleon is praying there with his lord, Master Liu Bei. 
I would like you to protect them and the altar. <laughs> oh, Han Deng. Uh, sorry, I forgot, I forgot about you. Okay. Southeastern winds have been known to blow during the season just in short bursts, though. Okay. Uh, again, I don't really think there's going to be much of interest here. I suppose we should speak to the big people, though. Xuan and Lian Shi are getting one well lately. The way he's acting is a bit irritating, though. Lian Shi is so lucky. I wish I had someone like that. Okay. Master Sun Jian, Master Sun Su, and Master Sun Sh. Uh, whatever. Gosh, can't even remember. Uh, three generations of excellence. Ah, <laughs> oh, screw it. Let's just, let's just fight. We will use our wisdom that and is a giant rig. Everyone, prepare to give your all in this battle. Cao Cao's fleet is okay. on the move. We're heading straight for our main camp. I have no doubt. We'll use a fire attack to seize victory <laughs> in this battle. He does rig. We must resist the enemy Come until here. our plan is in place. Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's get this fight started. All right, Dragon Spear. Oh, this must be the spear that belongs to the guy that serves Liu Bei. Oh, what's his name? Zhao Yun? The warrior must seize whatever opportunity is placed before him. The Changjiang is our territory. Do not let the enemy numbers frighten you. Show them the strength of our forces. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. You sure know how to fight. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. Oh, Simi Yi. Amazing. We would be seeing him in another campaign. It's as bad as you see. Could you please lend me a hand? It seems we suppressed the enemy attack. That should push back the battle lines a little. Cao Cao's forces have launched a raid from the south. Oh boy. <laughs> seems Jaw Shu's instructions weren't baseless fears after all. Let's make sure we smash anything that looks suspicious. This is bad. South Cell's forces have seen through our plan. We can't let them ruin our preparations for the fire attack. I'm coming. Lu Su, you and the princess protect Liu Bei and the others at the altar. What? Huang Gai, I want you and Han Dong to defend the fire shot. Leave it to us. We'll protect the altar and everybody near it. Yes, we will. Fireship is a key part of our plan. We've got to make sure it doesn't fall into enemy hands. Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's get this fight started. This should do it. Huh, it's kind of basic. Leave it to me. This should do it. Good work. This should weaken the enemy. Capacity to attack from the south. Home guy, isn't it about time we put our plan into action? We cleared things up in this area. Let's head back to the fire ship. How could my tactics fail like that? Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. Yeah, it is. Proper use of a rake is the way to victory. Such arrogance. I don't know, Yuria. Master Liu Bei. It's good to see you and Zhuge Liang are unharmed. I guess you didn't need my help after all. No, your help is much appreciated indeed. We were beginning to doubt whether we could hold out by ourselves. This altar is an important part of our plans. No matter what happens, we must protect them. Oh, 
You realized I was in danger. I am sorry for hurting you. Should do it. You should be sorry. You are doing an excellent job. How could I be beaten by a rake? Coming from the southeast, Plongai, Hongdong, now's our chance. Do I have to come up here? Yeah, go for it, buddies. Eh, fire attack successful. This battle is already won. All units move to attack South South's position. Master Lu Su, the fire attack was a success. All that remains is for us to take out Cao Cao. Let's get to it. Yes, this is all thanks to you, Zhuge Liang. Now let's use the enemy ships to chase after Cao Cao. Use Cao Cao ships to pursue Cao Cao. Come in. I'm here. Let's do this. Lord Liu Bei is a fine man. He's not like my father or brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think so, Princess. You're Let's gonna hope marry you him. Have the opportunity to work with him again. I actually don't know if she does marry Liu Bei. I have no idea. I don't remember. Allow me to test your resolve. Hmm. Let's try this. I shall make you pay for humiliation with your life, might, and wisdom together. You would challenge Boom. me. Boom! Clearly, you don't know who you're up against. And I win. South Sal must be nearby. I'm going to bring an end to this battle by myself. You are unstoppable. Oh. Alright. I must fall back. Wow! I must say I'm impressed. Leave it to me. And yep. Coming for you, Sal Sal. What are you waiting for? Let's get this fight started. I'll let you go for now. Don't think you won. Wow, that, that just keeps going. Oh man, those fire textures, they are <laughs> Not great. Oh man. You are not going to like the outcome of this encounter. That's what I was gonna say to you, buddy. Took the words right out of my mouth. Leave it to me. This should do it. How could I let them surprise me like this? Ah, uh, I see South South. Way to victory. Okay. This Battle of Chibi has definitely come a long way with these moving boats from where it used to be in the older so, Dynasty games. You come to cause trouble for Lord South South, have you? No. Well, I'm afraid we can't let you do that. Burning my ships appears to have roused their spirits. It will take more than that to put a stop to my path of conquest. <laughs> I see you're in good spirits despite the situation. And goodbye. Although your mood is about to take a turn for the worse. Curse you, Wu. I will have my revenge. Name is Lu Su.
We did it. We won. Let our cries of victory ring out across the land. Yes, Sun Xuan. We have done it. Well, I have done it. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. She's like, hey, you wanna maybe get a drink later? Jugalion's back there behind his fan, like, ha, 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 ha. I'm a strategist. Victory is ours. Yes. Dividing the land. That was it. Your grand design. Where do they fit within it then? What do you think, Lu Su? Liu Bei would make a valuable ally. But Juga Leon, that man is truly to be feared. Yes, indeed. Watch him closely. His intellect may one day be turned against Wu. Well, for the moment, we should just savor what we've achieved. Huh. This victory is a giant leap forward for the dreams of the people of Wu. It's a wonderful night for a fleet to be on fire. As the great river burned in crimson flame, the roar of the tigers shook the very land itself. The alliance between Sun Xuan and Liu Bei overcame Cao Cao's massive fleet. Despite suffering a crushing defeat, Cao Cao survived and fled to Xu Cheng. Cao Cao reigned in the north while Sun Xuan and Liu Bei controlled the south. Zhou Yu and Lu Su were ardent supporters of something. A plan to divide the land in two. It was a perfect opportunity for them to defeat the larger Cao Cao army and seize the land for themselves. Determined to advance this policy, Zhou uh, Yu immediately sent an army to attack Jing province. However, a staunch defense of Nanjun by Sao Ren put the Wu Vanguard in danger. Sao Ren's pretty cool. In an effort to rescue the isolated Vanguard unit led by Gong Ning, Zhou Yu deployed his main unit. Alongside him, Liu Bei strat strategist Zhu Genlian also made a move of his own. Amidst this complicated situation, Lu Su, Zhou Yu, and Lu Ming were ready to display their might. Oh, Lu Ming! I forgot about this guy. I kind of wanted to play as Zhou Yu, but Lu Ming is also pretty cool. Yeah, we may have to play as Lu Ming next time. As much as I enjoy having a rake, I think this is going to be cooler. So that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time with Lu Ming. Take care.